Welcome back, folks, to another Game Hoda production. You guys have asked for it. You got it. We're going to be doing another hidden object game. Now, Game Hoarder won't quite fit as my name, so we'll just go with Game Whore. We'll just do normal difficulty here. Detonate. A cycle of all. Young Julian's couple efforts in vain? Dr. Blackmore's former colleague vanished. Bite game leader Billy Booty missing. Caroline Bridge, she's hot. Neurosurgeon Jack Plot disappears from Sanitary. The young couple that stopped Dr. Blackmore is also missing. Please don't worry, escape is impossible. You are connected to the life support chair. I repeat, escape is impossible. Dr. Blackmore wants to talk to you. Sit still until you receive further instructions. been interfering with my plans for such a long time. You must be tired. Why don't you get Dr. some Artemis. rest while I prepare everything? I'll be sure to wake you in time to witness my revenge. <laughs> Sleep tight. Alright, so for those of you familiar with the hidden object games, they're kind of like easy puzzle adventure games with really cool graphics and you gotta do little hidden seek and find deals. Uh, they're fun to do once in a while. This is gonna more or less be a walkthrough slash let's play. I have gone through this before, so. He looks cranky. Maybe he wants a cigar. Got a target. Sugar cube. Some skizzers. This guy looks like he can use a sugar cube. Alright. This is our portable laboratory. We can make shit with it. Get recipes here and then we can use seeds, coal, salt, poison, lemon juice, water. Very cool little addition to the game. We have our notes here, medical charts on uh, some of the characters we'll be rescuing throughout the game. And let's look in here again for the lighter. Oh, Chief has got a cigar. Also got a feather that we're going to need. Oh. Nice throw, Chief. Snip, snip. Arrgh. Like, sure the smoke, shuddy. Ah, I see you're awake. And so my revenge can begin. Soon you'll be buried in the ruins of this building, and the rest of the world will be engulfed in the madness of my latest creation. Tim is in the next room. If you're smart enough, you may even be able to see him, but forget about escaping. The clinic is locked and rigged with very special explosives so just enjoy your final hours I will certainly try to make them interesting <laughs> we 
be using that tomahawk quite a lot. Now nah, here's one of the first puzzles. This one's pretty simple. Just need to match up the proper symbols here. To get the guy to open his hands. Uh, so for instance on over here we have dice matches with the roulette wheel. You just follow the, the tube down and you'll see the finger opens. Kangaroo, at your service. Now this is uh, one of the seek and find portions of the game. This one's uh, kind of cool because you can actually use items that you find to manipulate other items on the same screen to collect. And then you'll see here in a second you can use those items. For instance, we can now screw the scissors together. And then we can use the scissors to cut open the netting. And then we'll make us some insecticide. Just properly matching the symbols down here. Not too complicated. Now we can safely get the wires. That gives us the code 539. We get the 50 cent piece. We are rich! Billy Bully, age 46, 5'10, 224 pounds. Member of the Dark Cherub Motorcycle Club. Criminal record, disorderly contact, destruction of property, resisting arrest. According to records, his unruly behavior began in high school when he bullied and harassed a classmate by the name of Blackmore. Jack Proc, a progeny in the field of neuroscience, won multiple prizes and awards for his research on human impulses. After graduation, he was hired as a laboratory assistant in Dr. Blackmore's private clinic. Mr. Proc went into witness protection after exposing Dr. Blackmore's dangerous experiments on patients legal authorities. Blackmore's private clinic was closed and Dr. Blackmore disappeared. Caroline Bridge, a famous model as a teen, she was a cheerleader for the local football team. According to a police report from the time Mrs. Bridge complained of being approached by a young man named Blackmore. She claimed that he continued to pursue her after she rejected his advances. By court order, Blackmore is prohibited from coming within a thousand, hundred yards of Miss Bridge. And Dr. Armstrong, age 72, professor of psychology and cybernetics, studied neural waves resulting from human emotional shock. He discontinued his research after a scandal involving his assistant at the laboratory. Dr. Armstrong's assistant, Dr. Blackmore, was performing his own inhumane experiments on the same patients the goal of refining the neural energy. After the scandal, Blackmore was fired from the Institute and his research licenses were revoked. So obviously he's got a vendetta against these four people here. We have another puzzle here where you have to switch the knobs. Uh, 
Now some of these puzzles I'm not going to remember the exact sequence of what to do, so... I may be pausing the camera until I get near the completion of them. Fertilizer. Let's make that grass grow. Hey, Mr. Kangaroo, how you doing? You know, this guy doesn't like the headlines, so I need some reading glasses. The game is pretty fortuitous with giving you uh, hints on where to go. You can always use your hints down here in the bottom right corner, and you always want to refer to your notes as well. Uh, they'll give you different ideas of what to do. They also keep codes and things like that that you may have learned. Use some uh, some nitrogen to shatter the lock. And here is your precious Tim. Now, I'm not a monster. I will give you a chance to save him again, but I won't make it easy. He knows what must be done. <laughs> Hello, sweetheart. I'm so sorry for dragging you into this mess. I keep wanting it all to end, but somehow it just starts all over again. You'll have to save Blackmore's other victims before you can save me. He managed to imprison them in different places and times. You need to go find all of them. some of that crusty bread. Also collect some of this oil from the sink. And here we'll need four orbs to free Timmy Tim. Watch the magical growing ostrich. Now, since we use the magic fertilizer on the grass, its magical properties are imbued into the baby ostrich here, which is hungry for spiders. That should bring the stingray to the top. And we need some oil for the machine here. gloves. Also, if you return here, we have another puzzle that we need to do some more seeking finding on. and some scorpion venom equals acid. I guess. Let's collect some venom from the stinger of the scorpion here. Oh. 
Once you get the acid, you can burn through the heart-shaped lock here. And give us the can opener. Fantastical. Now the can we need to open is up here, but we need a way to get it down first. We can blow up this latex glove. I thought this was a pretty interesting puzzle here. Use a floating glove to somehow knock down the ceiling boards. <laughs> What's inside the can? A disc. By the way, I plan to hinder your progress whenever possible. Did I forget to mention that? Oops. For example, this gas causes hallucinations. Enjoy. Looks like some Metro 2033 dude. Let's go ahead and give the kangaroo the glasses before I forget. Ah, oh, he's happy now. Alright, now we can actually build something with our portable laboratory here. To take some flowers, crush them up, take the crushed up flowers and put them in the magical box dealing with Jiggy. And we have kryptonite. Alright, we'll take that and we'll put it in the grinder deal. Eye drops, which are good, I hear, for hallucinations. Hallucinations. Say bye bye, Nazi bastard. All right. So what we're going to end up doing is traveling to these different places in time: Chicago, Pompeii, Alaska, and Chernobyl. Hey, the screen's changed. You can kind of see the captives of Dr. Blackmore here. That's uh, Billy the Bully in Chernobyl. That's not a good place to be. Dr. Leproc. The Hari Bambumwadi. I might save her for last. Let's travel to Chicago. <laughs> Dr. Blackmore's former colleague vanishes. Professor Armstrong missing. So that's what we're trying to rescue in Chicago is Professor Armstrong. Oops, that didn't quite work. We have a door here that's on fire. We have some damp ground. And we have a worm. Have some more seek and finding to do as well. And I like to just click randomly on these when I'm LPing because there's really no consequence. At most, it slows down your uh, cursor. 
Um, and sometimes you'll pick up a lot of items without even looking. That's what happens if you click too fast. I figured I'd show you that. Uh, so it looks like we need a flamingo abacus plaque and some dynamite. Uh, I can't remember where any of this shit is. There's a flamingo. And you can see the changes, the pictures change then. Uh, now we need an umbrella, paper, it's like paper ship, origami, uh, a mushroom, and an ant. Now, if you've played one of these games, you've pretty much played them all, but I think they're really cool as far as the different story, and the graphics are always really nice and sharp. Um, and I just like to see the little variations between them. They're fun to do once in a while, and they're uh, not too difficult. If you're interested in checking out any of them, visit Big Fish Games. Uh, they have hundreds on Big Fish Games that you can download, play. You can do the trials for free. Uh, what are we looking for? Chamomile, Caterpillar, Arrow, and a Brush. Some of these I've played, are, the objects are really difficult to find, and some of them are just easy as hell. There's a little putty cat up there. Let's see if we can put out some of this fire with the shovel and sand. Then we can actually search down here. Get us some useful items. You always know when you're done with an area, it'll automatically kind of kick you out. Won't let you search there again, which is nice. You know you're kind of done with that section of the game. Don't ask me how I comb cuts through a uh, tree. It's a magic comb. It's a vorpal comb. Get the uh, rope sticky and then we'll dip it in some gunpowder, make a fuse for our dynamite. Oop, we can always back out. Sometimes they make you backtrack to previous sections, uh, but usually everything you do is contained within each uh, area, immediate area. This is as far as you go. They have that fool strapped to a bomb downstairs. And the release mechanism had to be destroyed somehow. Lucky for me, the entire second floor is on fire. <laughs> nice mohawk dick licker. Sounds like there's a release mechanism on the second floor. I have to get up to save Dr. Armstrong. Holy testicle Tuesday. Leave it to Beaver. Shit, he works fast.
Oh, chipped a tooth. And here's a little cooking table. We need some salt though before we can do anything there. There's the iron tooth in the bottom of all the coal. Give that to Mr. Beaver so he can finish his job there. He just sticks it in and gets busy. There you go, game whore! Thank you, Mr. Beaver. Alright, we'll still need that metal pan. There's something jammed in the door. It should open if I set the clock to 12. Kind of a stupid puzzle. <laughs> a bit easy. Fishing line with the hook. Some smelling salts. Let's go fishing. We got one. Alright. Let's cook this bad boy up. Once you get the baked fish, return to Mr. Putty Cat and give him the treat treat. Meow. That's one happy pussy. Alright, we'll just pick the cat up and run with it. I also have some more objects here that we can get. Eggshell, pine cone. Clown nose. Mosquito. Blind, I can't see. Right there in front of me, of course. All right, so we get a belt, which will come in use. I think that's pretty much it for this area for now. This place is full of smoke. Should break the window so I can escape. How about we throw a rock through the window? It'll clear out a little bit of smoke anyhow. Uh, 
and then this fan isn't connected to the wheel, so we'll use the belt that. And we'll use our cap to get things moving. Thank you. Hey, everybody. That perhaps game Hordette's here. Say smoke. hello, Game Hordette. Dr. Hi, Blackmore Hordet. certainly found an original way to settle our professional dispute. And here I am in this place. Now, would you mind trying to free me? Sitting on a pile of dynamite makes me a bit nervous. This combination should help you. Alright, he gives us a combination here of Boise HK. We're gonna need more than that, though. that in the put it in the poop shoot game more that's gonna come help us out because she's played this with me we're having to reshoot this because our first video didn't because uh... Ron fucked up all right it happens yeah. we need some seeds Now we have the gas mask. Go upstairs. You know, poisonous gas isn't the only thing that causes hallucinations. They can also be caused by burning certain combustibles in a fire. Like farts? You know what's the worst kind of fart? A dog fart. A Ron fart. At 4 a.m. No, that doesn't even compete with a dog fart. There's so much force that the fucking blanket lifts. Alright, using the gas mask got rid of uh, Fire Marshal Bill there. Use the pliers to jerk and turn that. Oh, that's new. And we gotta find a ton of objects here. So I'm gonna start clicking randomly. Thumbs up. Salt. Carpet beating. It's a carpet beater. That's what you punch girls in with the vagina with. Mm. Muffin. You punch them in the muffin. Muffin top. Raise your hand if you got a muffin top. Good thing no one can see. A bagel, a grater, muffin, and a flounder. A flounder? Like the fish? Yeah, like what's between your legs? A flounder. Ew. 
That's an octopusy. That's what all those tentacles were. Yeah. There you go. Where's the fishy fish? You're probably all watching this pointing to it, saying it's right there, you blind son of a bitch. Yeah, this big fucking thing right in front of your face. Yeah, too bad that's not it. I've already clicked on it a thousand times, genius. Oh, it's a flounder to me. Every goddamn fish is a flounder to you. There's a crab, does that count? <laughs> yeah, crab, flounder, same thing. They're both creatures of the sea. Oh my god. Maybe it doesn't mean a fish found, or maybe it's like a cooking instrument. Or we can just click hint. Fucking looking like a piece of cheese in a box. Some Swiss cheese, please. Alright, now we got the salt. I am Sir Arthur. Time to do some cooking. This part's pretty cool. It's a somewhat simple, but it's fun. It's math. So we need three fourths of broccoli. An eyeball. We need half an asshole apple. Some fire. I'm gonna light that shit up. That gives us the first symbol here on the pot. And we need to throw in some pep pep. Some root or whatever this is. It's a ginseng root. Something that Orientals use. Mmm, that meat looks good. Alright, more apple. Now we need some potato. Six sugar cubes, eyeball, chicken leg, some beets. I think that's a beet. That's a beet or a radish, I don't know. Anyways, we grew a fucking pumpkin. Pink pumpkin. It's an orange pumpkin. It looks pink to me. You're looking at the wrong pumpkin. That's my asshole. That's a brown pumpkin. Brown pumpkin. This guy's got a ornate skull here. We need to match the staff down at the bottom of the stairs to this same painting. Yeah, 
Yeah, no, it just kind of happened. Did you click on the last thing already? go and we get a sword now we can talk business with these knights here take a pumpkin that, that was tough like silent hill did you get the code we gotta get the other half first Yeah, but Bob gave you a code. Yeah, that's the half I got. It's two halves to the code. Gotta okay. knock this down here. And this will give us the other half of the code. X27Z, it looks like. That's obviously a code. It's obvious. Yep. Alright, once you got the code, you can come up here and punch it in. That's when the notes come in handy. I think it's X27Z first. Oh, thank you. I never imagined my conflict with Blackmore would end like this. Apparently, he's been holding a grudge against me ever since I criticized his methods back when we were colleagues. I believe he's imprisoned several other people. Hopefully, you'll be able to save them as well. Good luck. All right, so we got the professor saved. Get the blue energy orb and the disc piece. And that's gonna allow us to travel to another area. Oh, but first we must do some more seek and findage. Look on random shit today. Yeah. I thought that was a flower. Oh. 
Maybe that's it. Yeah, fruit. It's a fruit. It's a fruity flower. It's a fruit like you. It's a fruit cake. There's candy. Ladybug. Now let's get on with the show. That's what happens when you use a hint, by the way. Just wanted to show you. That's only for giver uppers. Quitters never win. Quitters never win. Uh, we'll put that CD down. Let's glue this CD together. It should work good as new. Looks like we'll be traveling to Chernobyl. Where's Chernobyl? Somewhere in that dirty Russian country. Hmm. I admit you passed the first test, but it was just the beginning. All right, folks. I'm going to be heading to Chernobyl here. Dr. Armstrong is safe, but I need to stay on my toes. Blackmore isn't done with me yet. Now you can pop the blue orb in there. Obviously, you get an orb every time you rescue one of the prisoners here. And in the next video, we'll travel to Chernobyl. And try to save Billy the Bully. <laughs>